And now it's time to start working with your workbooks. Yes, your workbooks. Here we have the page number 45. No, this is not. 45. So here, in this page, we are going to do this activity. Number four, look at the picture. Are the sentences true or false? There's a table in the kitchen. Dice, look at the kitchen. There is a table. No, entonces le ponemos false. So according to the picture, you're going to write true or false. Todas estas palabras ya las conocen. Make a pause and do this part. Ready? Okay. Now in number six, complete the sentences with there's or there are. Remember, there's is the contraction of there is. There are is plural. Si dice a table, entonces es singular. There's. There are plural. No se olviden de eso. Two women, dice. La palabra women significa mujeres. Plural. Entonces decimos there are. Incluso acá nos están diciendo dos. Ya no puede ser singular porque es más de uno. A bottle of water. Una botella de agua. Una. Another, el resto ya conocen ustedes el vocabulario. So complete with there is o there are. Make a pause, hagan una pausa, and complete. Now here, in part number six, we are going to make negative sentences with there isn't or there aren't. There isn't or there aren't. Recuerden que cada vez que dice any, Sí o sí tienen que poner there aren't, si es que no es pregunta. Para el A, no se sabe si puede ser afirmativo o negativo. Pero aquí nos están diciendo, todo es con there isn't o there aren't. Entonces, sí o sí hay que poner there isn't, porque es singular. A ver, palabras que no conozcan, flowers, flores. People es personas, varias. Ya está en plural. No le agreguen la S. In part 7, we are going to write questions and the answers. Balcony, balcón. Is there a balcony? No, there isn't. A girl, singular. Haría la pregunta con is there. Ajá, uh -huh, correct. Is there a girl in the yard? Miren aquí en el patio. Sí, no, aquí está. Yes, there is. 